imagine a scenario where uh, one fine day you're just uh, scrolling through your phone on your social media and uh, suddenly you stumble upon you stumble upon this uh, video of a celebrity who's endorsing a product or giving a statement now chances are high that you or as a matter of fact anyone would tend to believe that video because obviously we go after the credibility of that respective celebrity but what if i tell you that that video was fake ladies and gentlemen welcome to where believing is not just what you see but questioning again and again as to what you are seeing in this digital era trust is the most endangered sentiment specifically when deep fakes are here to blur the lines between reality and fabrication but the question is what are these deep fakes in simple terms deep fake refers to an image or a video which has been convincingly manipulated using deep synthesis technology in this video or photo the, the perpetrator in fact he actually misrepresents a respective individual from doing or saying something which they have not done in real this is generally done to defame the other person deep fakes are the chameleons of this digital era and in 2017 it was the first time where this term deep fake got general public recognition where a reddit user an anonymous reddit user he made a subreddit called deep fakes where he was posting videos pornographic videos now the interesting part about these videos were that he was using face swapping technology where he was face swapping the face of adult models with famous actresses at that time it was quite easy to differentiate between deep fake videos and normal videos but unfortunately with the advent of this ai revolution since the past one and a half years the deep fake technology is enhancing every single day and it's getting extremely convincing there have been different researches which tell us the scary potential of deep fakes that it has a study by sensity which is a company ai vision company they say that uh, in 2023 deep fakes were generated in 70 plus languages this highlights its global reach another study by the company improve which act actually is a biotech company it says that deep fakes they had a study where they said that out of every 10 consumers globally seven had actually said that they had no idea about deep fakes in another study in 2023 it was found out that 5 lakh deep fakes in audio as well as videos were circulated online these numbers speaks volumes as to where is this deep fake technology leading us therefore what to trust and what not to trust becomes a huge question in front of us now you must be asking as to okay this is fine deep fakes are rising but what are the reasons as to why these deep fakes are increasing every single day well the answer lies with behind these three cues these three cues are the sole reason why deep fakes have been growing extensively these three cues stand for quantity quality and qualification when i talk about quantity in today's times commercially available apps are there which are actually lowering the barriers for individuals to create deep fakes one can easily create deep fakes quickly and cheaply next is quality with the increase of generative ai and its technology deep fakes are getting much more enhanced the quality is getting increased they look much more natural and it's getting extremely difficult to detect them and qualification well unfortunately a person doesn't should not have any specific qualification as such you don't need any skill set in order to actually make a deep fake but there is a huge demand of expertise required to detect deep fakes now this is what this was all about deep fakes but again another question i know you guys are confused why i'm again questioning again and again but these questions will give us the answer another question are deep fakes always negative well there is this principle in technology which says that whenever a new technology is born it's neutral in nature and it's only the way in which human beings use that technology decides whether that technology is a boon or bane for humanity and with respect to this principle deep fake also has some positive use cases as well deep fakes are used in the entertainment industry to create specialized visual effects they are now being started to use 
in the educational industry where the, the quality of classrooms and engagement is getting increased. But unfortunately, the negative use cases overpower the positive ones. There have been different cases throughout the world which has shown us that deep fakes are coming. It's one of the most mischievous technology out there. Different examples have been there which have shown us that deep fakes is something that we should definitely be scared of. Let us go through some of these examples. Well, in uh, Indonesia in 2024, they had their elections. And during the elections, the deep fakes of all the three candidates were circulating online. Now, obviously, the experts also say that these kind of activities might have a bad influence on the election results. This year, specifically being the year of elections, deep fakes are a huge problem. Why? Because they pose a threat. They can be responsible for spreading disinformation among the public. They can manipulate public sentiment, voters' perception, and at the end of the day, manipulating the election results as well. Deep fakes of a lot of politicians are out there in order, in order to defame them as well. Now, celebrities are one of the few individuals who face the brunt initially. And with respect to deep fakes, it's the same case. Deep fakes of different celebrities, actors, actresses, and prominent cricketers are circulating online. This is done in order to scam individuals and to damage the reputation of these respective celebrities. When we talk about the corporate sector, there was an interesting case that took place a few months back. A multinational corporate, there a person was scammed to transfer $25 million. In that, the person, the scamster, used the deepfake technology and he posed as the CFO, that is the chief financial officer of the company, on a video conferencing call. Now just imagine how realistic that would be that a person is transferring 25 million dollars it's huge in another interesting example in korea there's this uh, channel mbn where uh, they did a small experiment they obviously they notified the users about this experiment but the experiment was that they launched a deep fake of their own news anchor and people were not able to differentiate between what's real and what's not this was just a fun experiment, but just imagine the potential misuse this can have upon us. If I talk about individually, then definitely deepfakes have a lot of negative impacts as an individual. Non-consensual pornography is one of them. The individual, obviously, the ha it hampers the privacy of that respective person, but at the same time, it causes psychological stress as well. There are many, many cases that I can talk about. But now coming to the part, what's the solution? Well, global collaboration is the first part of it. Global collaboration between countries is the need of the art to combat deep fakes. And fortunately, with respect to this, many countries are working in this direction. In 2023, in the first AI safety summit in UK, the Bletchley Declaration was signed by 28 prominent countries of the world, where they recognized the potential misuses of this artificial intelligence and the need to regulate them. In 2024, major tech companies like Google, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, etc., they work together to curb the effects of artificial intelligence, the respective misuses that AI can have upon elections. Here, the suggestion of using watermarks was used as well. Now, this was about nation states. Like, I mean, there are different countries, India, China, US, they are taking proactive steps in order to combat these deep fakes. What about individuals? What about us? We are the digital users of this time. I always say this fact that uh, in this age where deep fake is blurring the lines between reality and fabrication, one should know to read between the lines. This simply means that we have to enhance deep fake literacy. We have to bring deep fake literacy as a culture in our society. But wait a second, that's fine, but how to bring this deep fake literacy? Well, for that, today I have this uh, framework, which I call the blue framework. That's right, the color blue. So it's an acronym, which is simple, but yet it will empower you to at least detect deep fakes. Now in this acronym, the letter B stands for blurred background. Blurred background? 
Well, the deep fake algorithm generally focuses on the primary subject of the video, let's say the person. But it ignores the background. Generally, that results in inconsistencies. Generally, the video is inconsistent with that or the background is completely blurred. That's one. Second is letter L, which stands for lighting inconsistencies. Lighting inconsistencies, well, generally deep fakes, when they are replicating, they find, at least in today's times, they find it difficult to replicate the shadow and lighting sometimes. Therefore, if you closely observe it, you'll find out inconsistencies and unnatural appearances. Third comes letter U, which stands for unnatural movements. Now, some deep fakes, they find it extremely difficult to exactly replicate the human movements that we have. And therefore, with close study, you can easily see, with normal, in normal parlance, you can easily see as to how there are some inconsistencies in the video. For example, inconsistent lip syncing or unnatural eye movement or robotic movement. And last but not the least comes letter E, which says examining. Now generally, I'm sure whenever you will witness a deepfake video, it will be on a social media platform. And whenever you see it, as a matter of fact, it's your sole responsibility to examine and cross-verify the source of this video. Don't just straight away believe it, but at least verify if this video is correct or not, because that video can cause havoc in the society. It can mislead the public. It can do what not. That's the power of internet, but unfortunately, deepfake is a mischievous technology that is being used every single day. This blue framework definitely gives you the power to detect, but at the same time, let me be very clear with this disclaimer that this blue framework is not exhaustive. This simply means that uh, all these steps are not enough. With the advent of this AI revolution, things are increasing, they are expanding, things are getting advanced, and with that, different new things, different new ways will come in our armory to detect these deep fakes. But yet again, global collaboration between institutions, individuals, nation states, accompanied with enhancing deep fake literacy in the society will definitely is the way forward. In the end, I would just like you all to remember one thing, that potential of global collaboration and action accompanied by deep fakes holds the potential to curb this deep fake mirage in the digital era. Thank you so much.